happy thursday um i jumped on really quick because i have this word that's like been in my spirit for a hot minute and i needed to just share it today so um as children of god we rejoice over the word where it tells us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper but we actually forget about the weapon that does prosper and I know you might be thinking, wait a minute, she's saying something opposite of what the word of God says, but I need you to stay with me because I promise you, you're going to get blessed by this revelation. We get so focused on the weapons that's forming against us that we forget that we are the weapon that prospers. We are absolutely the one that has full authority over anything that the enemy sends our way. Not in our own strength or in our own power, but by the power of God that is on the inside of us, the Holy Ghost that he's given to us. We are the weapon that prospers. We are absolutely God's weapon in this earth to absolutely annihilate and destroy the enemy. Jesus already won victory for us. Like that's 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 an unarguable uh, uh argument. Like literally we he's given us salvation. He's given us forgiveness of our sins, but that doesn't stop the fight. That doesn't stop the things that the enemy brings against us. But we in flesh Jesus on the inside of us are the weapons that prosper. So I'm going to encourage you today to pray again for that child, for that marriage, for that business, for whatever it is, to speak God's word over it because it is his breath on the inside of us. And when we are using his breath to speak his word, he has said that his word will never return unto us void. Listen, in Genesis, it tells us that... Um, even after Adam and Eve had sinned and, and it really Eve was deceived and then um, her husband ate of the fruit. At the end of the day, God said this. He said to the enemy, he said, I will put enmity between the two of you. Like it's going to be hostility between your seed and her seed. And But we miss that he said that though the enemy will bruise our heel or bruise the heel of our seed, that our seed will crush his head. So often we believe that our seed is just because we birth children. No, it is whatever your seed is that God has given to you. It is your children. It is also that business, that book, that journal, that movie, that playwright, that script. Whatever God has given to you, it's going to crush the enemy. You see, there's a difference between crushing and bruising. I know that for a fact. A couple months back, I literally crushed my finger. I slammed my hand in the door of the car and there was uh, tissue damage and uh, blood vessel stuff going on. But God being the healer that he is, he took care of those things for me and did not allow me to break a bone. Now, I'm not saying that if you broke a bone, God won with you. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I have recognized the goodness of God and I'm grateful. But there's a difference between a bruise and a crushing. So he might hit you and you might have might have been taking blow after blow after blow after blow lately but honey i need to tell you get back in the fight because you are the weapon that does prosper i promise you and in the moments where god is telling you to be quiet quit resenting that because if you will shut up he'll speak for you if you'll sit down and be still, he'll stand up for you. And baby, can't nobody defeat the God that we serve. And when he stands up for you, it will be an unequivocal, no doubt, uh, un inarguable, unarguable moment that God is for you and with you that his hand is upon you. So no matter what it looks like, how unfair it is, the words that are being spoken, the lies that are being told, it does not matter. Be still in this moment, but remember that you are absolutely the weapon that prospers. And honey, go prosper today. Pray today. Work that business today. Forgive that spouse today. Forgive those kids. God, those kids. Pray for those kids. Cover them even when it seems like they don't hear you. I promise you that the words of God, when I am silent, is so much more effective in the life of my children than when I preach to them, when I fuss at them, when I tell them things or, or, or you know, correct them. And I'm not saying that you don't tell your kids things because God will guide you on what to say. But when you are in God's pace and you're, you're, you're meditating, you're abiding in his presence, he will help you to keep pace and rhythm with him. So you'll know what to say and when to be quiet. Trust God, seek him and let him guide you. But baby, you're absolutely the weapon that prospers. And I pray today that you give hell a blow because that's my mission. Hopefully you'll join me. God bless you and have a wonderful day.